Lincoln Park is named after the dude on your $5 bill. What's good YouTube, it's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to another cinematic masterpiece. Today we're in Lincoln Park, Chicago, which is arguably the Windy City's greatest neighborhood. Why? Well, we're gonna get into all that. Plus, I'm here to announce that this channel is changing forever. So hold on to your seats, finesse that like button, and let's go around Lincoln Park. Of course, our first stop of the day is for coffee. It's about 9.30 in the morning, 43 degrees, already at peak Chicago autumn weather. And you know, we always start these films off with coffee because we love it so much. And I know it's kind of cliche, but you know, you gotta have a Latino in the mix talking about coffee. After all, a lot of these beans do come from Latin American countries. And so we're at Printer's Row Coffee, which obviously this is not Printer's Row, it's Lincoln Park, but I believe they got their start out in Printer's Row. We've never been here, it's right up on Lincoln, close to the L tracks, and I'm hyped to see what kind of coffee they're offering, and pa pastries too. One double and one single espresso. Ooh, let's do a ham and cheese. Yeah. Typically it's in a beautiful little espresso cup, but not today. Right, we got a couple of espressos and a ham and cheese croissant to have a little bit of breakfast, light bites and coffee is usually what we love to do before we start exploring the neighborhood. Even though, I mean, technically we're not really exploring Lincoln Park because we live here and I was born here. So we're gonna show you around, take you on a little tour of the neighborhood. But, you know, we gotta have the espresso first. Aquí tenemos un poquito de espresso. I gotta have this. Mmm. Ooh, it's so good. Look at that croissant. That looks incredible. Mm. We were looking on the menu online. I was like, ah, I'm not really in the mood for a muffin, so I'm really happy that they had these. I'm kind of hungry, you know? So now that we had coffee, we're gonna head to the park. Oh, how cool. I don't think I've ever seen that sign before. So that's the original pot belly. It's where it all started. If you live in the Midwest, you definitely know about this place. Recently, my channel celebrated a birthday. Woo, feliz cumpleaños. But it wasn't really its true birthday. I'll explain. So I created this channel at the end of September of 2018 with every intention of vlogging my upcoming trip to Europe. Here's the thing though. I get there and I kind of chickened out. I actually didn't end up creating the first video on this channel until August of 2019. So in reality, this channel is just over three years old. In those three years, not only have I learned a ton about the YouTube platform, but I've also switched up the direction of the channel quite a few times. And before I get into what's changing this time around, let's talk about where we are now and how we got here. Okay, let's go. Like a Chris Pratt. Mad humid, son. <laughs> Probably my favorite room. Whoa, these are cool. I like how this like, it reminds me of like Ivy. Every time we come here, it's a different kind of beautiful. Just a ton of ferns. <laughs> True indeed. True indeed. <laughs> this is actually a really nice place to come when it's winter time because it kind of makes you forget that it's winter. Can you do yoga in the fern room? There might not be enough space, but the music, the vibes, they're all there. It smells like perfume. Hey, turn around. Hey, estamos en el showroom. They rotate these seasonally, different types of flower shows. I don't know what's going on right now. It looks like they're kind of in between shows start and end your visit to the conservatory in the Palm House, which is the best room by far. Burn room's definitely cool, but the Palm House is where it's at. Maybe it's the Florida boy talking. 20, 30 foot palms in here. It's beautiful, very peaceful, fragrant. Obviously you get lots of oxygen, you know. Get away from the hustle and bustle of the city, man. This is my sanctuary, right in the heart of the urban jungle. Maybe that is purple. That, that was a quick little walk through the park. No, the conservatory. Initially, the idea was to create a pure travel channel where I would document my solo trips to England, France, Spain, Italy. 
and probably a bunch of other countries. In my head, that money was just gonna keep rolling in as long as I traveled. I bought a Sony a6100, a shotgun mic, and of course, a Joby Gorilla Pod. You know, every good vlogger needed one of those back then. But even though I brought all this equipment around with me to European cities like Rome and Paris, I didn't shoot a single frame of video. Part of this was because I had nothing written, but even the few times that I did turn on the camera and hold it so I could vlog, I just couldn't get any words out. Shocking, I know. Welcome to Lincoln Park Zoo. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> a wide open space. All of these used to be cages, just all the way down. It took them a long time to renovate this house too. Whose house? Lion's house. And actually it's our third time here, but unfortunately third time is not the charm because the lions are nowhere to be found. And it's not a Sunday, so there's no football joke to be made here. But regardless, it's beautiful what they have done with this house. They made it so much more comfortable for the lions to live here. We just don't know where they are right now. <laughs> drive off-road. Where does it rank on your list of African animals? A giraffe? Is it the top five? Easy? Totally. If there's a lesson to be learned from my failure to launch this channel for almost a year, it's this. If you set a goal, you gotta make a plan with detailed steps on how to achieve that goal. So that's what I did. I got some ideas together, and finally, I got the channel rolling with my tips on how to travel solo. I was really inspired by New York City YouTubers, some of whom I've gotten to meet and develop relationships with. So anyway, we started doing food tours and neighborhood guides of Chicago, and we put everything we could think of into these neighborhood guides. History, architecture, things to do like parks, museums, landmarks, coffee shops, restaurants, pastry shops. We put everything we could think of into these neighborhood guides, which quickly became our favorite films to make. And it's tough because we've done so many food guides for Lincoln Park. So like, we gotta find places that we haven't gone to yet. Luckily, there are a plethora of restaurants. Our first time at Don Pes Fish Tacos in Lincoln Park. We passed this place the other day and it looked really festive. So we figured, hey, we gotta come here. They specialize in fish tacos. Let's check out what we got. The cams right here. This is two tacos with every order. Got a little bit of lime, some shredded cabbage some chipotle crema, signature pescado. These are beer battered catfish with a special sauce, cabbage, pickled habanero. Mm. So many flavors going on there. A little spicy, but I like it. That shrimp one this looks delicious. taco. Yeah, it does look delicious. AKA the cams, C-A-M-Z. Oh. I'm so glad I ordered that one. I can't mm -hmm. wait to eat it. That's really good. It's different from the shrimp tacos that we normally have. How so? It's just got a different, different flavor, honestly. It's not breaded. And the tortillas are really fire as well. Good coin tortillas, love it. How's that taco treat in ya? It's a little spicy, I love it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's the cams taco, right? Cams, You already yes. had the fish? I housed the fish taco. Okay. Are you normally a catfish fan? Is that, is that what was in it? Catfish? It's catfish. I actually had no clue. So we took the formula that we developed for our Chicago neighborhood guides and applied them to our big city travel guides like Las Vegas, Milwaukee, and Miami. Then I brought another change to the channel in early 2021 when I started doing live streams. I really, really love doing these. It helped to speed up my research for our neighborhood guides. Plus it kind of allowed me to have like a dress rehearsal of sorts for neighborhoods that I hadn't covered yet, like Edgewater, Uptown, and Clearing. I was also able to revisit neighborhoods that we had already covered like River North and South Loop. But at the end of 2021, we looked at the channel and where it was and decided it was time to make another major change. It's time for boba tea. We got some 
lychee peach green tea and some strawberry orange jasmine tea. Uni Uni just opened up in Lincoln Park earlier this year. It's so, so good. There's one in Chinatown too. That's just a great, great thing to have after lunch. Mm. We get it with the reduced sweetness. There's crystal boba in here. Super refreshing. Even on a cool day like today, it's a great time for boba. And the rest I got the lychee. It's a lychee green tea that you got? Lychee peach. Lychee peach green tea. I'll try this one too. Mm. Oh wow, that's really good too. It's a little cramped in here, but all that matters is if the tea is good or not, and it's definitely a 10 out of 10. We were literally just walking down the street and then here's the campus, so yeah. Normally colleges and universities have their own land, or at least they're like a college town, but this one's right in the heart of Chicago. What we found is that our audience was really falling off during the history and architecture sections, but super engaged whenever we talked about things to do or visited restaurants, coffee shops, etc. As far as our live neighborhood tours, they just weren't getting the same interest at the end of the year as they were during the beginning of the year. Plus, unless we were downtown, we would really struggle to make it past 20 or 30 concurrent viewers. So for the sake of the channel, we decided to stop the live streams plus change how we structured our neighborhood guides. Instead of breaking them up into discrete sections like history, then architecture, then things to do, then food and drink, etc., etc., we decided to tell the whole story of a neighborhood or city while breaking it up with things like parks, museums, restaurants, bars, coffee shops, the works. We did this for neighborhoods like Edgewater, Pilsen, West Loop, and several more that you've seen in the past few months. Then we took that same formula to New York City and London. To be completely 100, it's been so much fun digging into the historical figures, facts, and buildings that have shaped the districts of Chicago, New York, and London. But I'm here to announce that we're done with that. Finito, it's over. For entry. How much bigger is this door than me? Go ahead. This is the Elks Memorial. Well, tell us about the fit. All right, so we got the key sunglasses, key Australia. We got the whole Cole Buxton from the UK sweatsuit. We got the sweatshirt to go with the pants. Nice and comfortable, good for a fall day. Rocking the Apple Watch with the product red band. Then right here, we got the Concord Jordan 11s, size 14s, you know, keeping them clean. After about two and a half years, I'm finally starting to get the picture. History is kind of a niche topic. In other words, some people are really, really interested in talking about history, but most people aren't. And that fact ultimately limits the reach of what we're doing on this channel. To be honest, the more I research, the more I see the same types of stories popping up over and over again. Like that old saying goes, history repeats itself. Another thing is that I'm spending literally hours, days, weeks on this research to learn it, digest it, and then write it out so that I could talk about it in these films. And in reality, I could be spending all that time becoming a better filmmaker and YouTuber. And probably the biggest problem of all, this whole time, I've mostly been telling other people's stories instead of my own. There's a gilded statue of someone here at this part of the park. You don't say. He may have a musical named for him that Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote. Well, it's Alexander Hamilton. That's who this is. Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> all right, so what does all this mean? Well, we're gonna be changing how we do things on this channel. After all, I am the brand and I have some pretty cool stories to tell if I do say so myself. For now, we're gonna leave history to the books. It's time to highlight some of my other interests. Not everything's gonna be changing because as you see, today is the first of our new format of filmmaking. We took you around Lincoln Park, showed you some great places to eat, drink, some fun things to do all while wrapping it up in a cinematic package. I'm pretty hyped about the new direction of this channel and I know you're gonna love it. In the comments, let us know where we should visit next. Thank you so much, Gusto Nation. Peace.